Creating realistic results in 3D is a complicated task, and it is related to many, many things, like your modeling, texturing, and lighting. But a very important aspect is making virtual cameras behave like the real ones. And in real life, camera lenses add things like blur, light flares, and color shifts, which makes images look more natural. And that's why in today's video, we're gonna be talking about an add-on called Lens Sim that gives you that extra push when it comes to your lenses inside Blender. This add-on allows you to replicate the behavior of real-world cameras and specifically lenses with incredible accuracy. And I personally think that this add-on is actually a game changer. So if you are aiming for that vintage, soft focus look, or you need precision for a wide angle lens, this add-on offers all the tools you need to add a new level of realism and depth to your renders. But before we continue, I want to remind you guys that we are going through the Black Friday to Cyber Monday sale. So this is a great opportunity to get yourself some of the best add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it especially on the Blender market, because they are having a big discount of up to 30%, and other developers even more than that. And if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of the top Blender add-ons and courses that you will ever need. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Now, what really sets this add-on apart, I mean from other tools, is the real-world lens data integration, which is a mind-blowing feature that allows you to load actual lens schematics into the add-on and adjust the parameters to match a specific real-life camera from different brands, which is actually really cool. The add-on comes with lenses such as the Canon 50mm with the characteristic soft blur and optical vignetting, in addition to the Jupiter 3, an old Russian lens known for its unique bokeh and much softer images. And of course, it comes with loads of other lenses going from the 10mm all the way to 1000mm lenses which come with a lot of options that you can choose from. And to select your desired lenses, just pick it from the drop down menu and you can switch between lenses and you can do that with ease by simply selecting another one at any given time. And to make it even better, LensSim offers an incredible amount of control over every tiny little detail in your lenses, from the aperture size, lens dirt, and ray guiding to focused distance in addition to chromatic aberration and so much more. One setting I found particularly interesting is how you can control the aperture in lens sim. So as you reduce the aperture opening, the image gets sharper, while increasing it gives you a more cinematic and shallow depth of field. And if you want to really get into the technical side of things, you can also change the focus distance, which adjusts how sharp or blurry parts of your images will be. Now, adjusting the sensor width is another neat trick, I mean within this add-on, because when you do this, you can see the full circle of illumination for the lenses, which helps you get a realistic look at how your lenses would behave in real-life photography. And of course, for anyone interested in creating cinematic effects, the add-on lets you tweak the bokeh, which is that blurry, cool out-of-focus area in your renders. You can adjust the shape of the bokeh to match the characteristics of the lens that you are working with. So if you want a circular bokeh for a smooth, dreamy look or something like that, or maybe an anamorphic oval bokeh for that classic movie feel, you can actually do it with the add-on. The add-on also allows you to simulate chromatic aberration and simply put that little bit of glowing red and blue that can be found in the edges of your highlights. Lens Sim also includes distortion effects like barrel distortion and pincushion distortion, which can be applied to your lenses for a more realistic and creative look. And if you don't know what that is, basically barrel distortion makes the image appear to be curved outward like in the fish eye lenses, and pincushion distortion does the opposite, creating a slight inward curve. And of course, both of these can be adjusted with sliders for fine-tuned results. What I really like about the lens sim is how the real-time adjustments are. So as you tweak settings like aperture, focus distance, and distortion, you can immediately see how these changes affect the scene in real time. This is actually perfect for those who like to experiment and dial in the exact look that they want without having to wait for a proper render. Now, as you might expect, no tool is perfect, and LensSim is one of them, because it does have a few limitations to keep in mind. 
First of all, for the moment, it only supports Blender 4.2 and above, and it can only handle spherical and cylindrical lenses, so other than that are not yet supported. Also, while the optical vignetting feature works wonderfully, it's important to note that AOV passes, like depth and mist, can be a bit tricky to render correctly with vignetting applied. And there you have it guys, if you are interested in this add-on, you can pick it today because this is the last day of the sale. So if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also please check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.